We take for granted that we turn on our water and it will be there for us. But did you ever think about the process it goes through to get to the tap? Let's find out. Well, all of the drinking water in Westminster comes from Stanley Lake, but it doesn't fill by itself. We use Stanley Lake to store water that comes from way up at the Continental Divide. About three quarters of our water comes from the Clear Creek Basin. So all the snow melt that we measure up at Berthed Pass and Loveland Pass, when it melts in the springtime, we capture it in three different canals, right in Golden. And that water comes through the canals and into Stanley Lake. Water quality staff goes out onto the lake in a pontoon boat every two weeks, and they collect samples at the same location every time. We also have a continuous monitoring buoy out there that you may see if you go out to the lake. Uh, that has an instrument that lowers down to the bottom of the lake and back up and collects data. And that gives us a lot of information about the quality of the water in the lake. So we have a very good understanding of the water quality in the watershed as it moves from the watershed to the lake, in the lake itself, and if we have the best water quality to start with, we know that we can produce an excellent water quality at the finished product. Water gets from Stanley Lake to our treatment plants via three different pipelines, and they start right here downstream of the dam that's behind me, and two of those pipelines go to our Semper water treatment plant, and one of our pipelines goes to the Northwest water treatment plant. And depending on the demand and the time of year, we may be running different amounts of water to those plants and different amounts of water through those pipelines. This is the Semper water treatment facility. It's a conventional filtration plant. We have another treatment facility called Northwest Treatment Facility. That's a micromembrane filter plant. Capacity here is about 50 million gallons a day, and the capacity at the Northwest plant is 15 million gallons a day. The water comes in the plant through our raw water vault through two pipelines. This is actually two plants in one. Uh, the chemicals are flow paste. We hit it with an oxidant. We take care of all taste and odors and any metals that we want to get out of the water. Comes into our flash mixers. Right there, we're going to add our coagulant chemical. Coagulant basically neutralizes the particles and helps them stick together, makes them heavy so we can settle them out. We also hit it with lime for some calcium. And then we'll hit it with chlorine for disinfection. After that process, we'll go through to our sedimentation basins. Uh, what we do is we take a, pi a small pipeline and we open it up into this wide basin, slows the water way down, gives the particles a chance to settle. At that point, it leaves the sedimentation basins and we add ammonia for, to make chloramines and then we put it on our filters. And after that, it comes out of the filters as drinking water. It leaves our clear well underneath all the filters goes through a 60 inch pipeline to our clear well, which is 5 million gallons. From there, we pump it to the distribution system. Once it's out in distribution, we're pumping to different tanks. Okay, and then the tanks here on the screen, will pump out of those to control pressures in the zones to get to your home. We put out a very high quality water here. I would say at least 10 times better than required by the state regulations. The citizens are getting a very good product out of these two plants. Once it leaves the treatment plant, our job is to make sure that it is uh, efficiently and safely deliver clean water to our customers' taps. We maintain all the water valves, fire hydrants. We assist with uh, maintaining all the water tanks and the water system. That's, that's what we do. Our job is to make sure everything leaves the plant and gets to our customers safely and clean. And it does. We'll see you next time on Westminster's Best.